Hi, I'm Ralph Wheelock. And I just wanted to say that um, uh, most of my thoughts have really been expressed by others. And what really struck me is that if you, well, at first I was looking at the, the Public Land Development Corporation. This is a classic oxymoron thing. Public land has got to do with commons, with the commonwealth, with people own streets, playgrounds, all this stuff that the commonwealth owns. And then when you have development corporation, corporations is like some kind of beast from outer space. I'm not speaking of all corporations, but their primary goal is to make money, to make profit, mostly for their shareholders and for their CEOs. We see this more and more now. So when you co-mingle these two, you have a, a complete contradiction. You have, but more and more, as corporations get more and more powerful, they come after government because government is the only restrictions they have. Grover Norquist, the famous uh, right-wing place, said, what's the best place to own a business? He said, it would be on a barge that I could drag to any country that had the least environmental laws and the least paid the least wages. So by having a corporation take over public lands, and this is what they're doing, not just in Hawaii, they're doing it on a national and international and states thing. They're trying to take over the commons because there's money there. They want to privatize schools. They want to privatize prisons. They want to turn everything into a Walmartization where the people working for them make peanuts because there's so-called free labor laws where you can bring people in from anywhere and the people on top make all the money. So this is just, uh, I really almost see no way of stopping this, but when I came here tonight and I heard the enthusiasm of people that really believed in democracy, believed that they could talk intelligence to power and try to convince these people of the corruption that is going on in the name of of progress, of jobs, of corporations. This is what uplifted me. This gives me hope that maybe we will save this planet and save this island and save this democracy and kick the Larry Ellisons out that come in and buy whole islands and maybe go across the street and do a couple deals with the capital. It gives me great hope for the future. Thank you very much.